hi my name is Jay and for today's video I'm going to share I think like an entire year's worth of empties what? scratch that probably like the last six months or so I did film like two other empties videos and then I just never posted them and I don't think I'm ever gonna post them so this is probably like the last six months yeah Let's just jump right into my trash can. Whee! I have two shower gels here from Bath & Body Works and they are both fresh, sparkling snow and I love the scent so much that I had to buy a second one because it just smelled so good. I have this Sonoma Lavender Shower Gel. I love, love, love lavender. Everyone knows I love lavender. This one though smelled kind of weird. It kind of smelled old for some reason, uh, was not a fan. This is my favorite scent from Pacifica. It is their Hawaiian Ruby Guava, and I adore this scent so, so much. <laughs> Normally, I really love this brand. It is Deep Steep. I've used their lotions, and they're really wonderful, but I don't know about their sugar scrubs. This is their Honey Sugar Scrub, and it smelled super weird, and the consistency of their sugar scrub was really really just thick and like very hard to scoop out the smell was weird and i don't know i was not a fan of this i have two sugar scrubs from bath and body works japanese cherry blossom and french lavender and honey these are both amazing i just hate how it's packaged because i can't get every single bit of gloop out of it but these are wonderful i love bath and body works sugar scrubs this is my absolute favorite favorite shampoo brand it is healthy sexy hair and it is their soy moisturizing shampoo I adore this my hair loves it and uh, I bought this at Marshall's so it's kind of hard for it to like come back once they like sell out of it but recently they started selling it again which is fantastic because my hair absolutely loves this brand. This on the other hand was just okay. This is from La Citan. This is their nourishing cream shampoo. I wasn't a fan of the scent and I really didn't feel like it did anything for my hair. This is from Burt's Bees and it is their super shiny conditioner with mango. I don't really feel like it did anything to my hair. It smelled kind of nice, but it just fell flat for me. This is my favorite uh, hair mask. This is from Argan Magic and it is their restorative, restorative, restorative hair mask. You can find these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls pretty much all the time. I still see them there. Um, and you leave it in your hair for 5-10 to 10 minutes and the feeling that you get from it once you like wash it off is just absolutely remarkable. Your hair feels so soft and even like the next day or the following day your hair still smells so so good. This is from La Ossetan. Don't, can't read what it says, oh, ha, Gardener's Hand Healer. Um, it was just alright, I don't really remember the scent all that much, let me see if I can kind of smell it. Mm, it was just alright for me. These, those, their brand of like hand lotions are like really really soft though. I love it, if it wasn't so expensive I'd buy more. This is from Skin Food, this is their Cocoa Hand Balm. I wasn't a big fan of this one. I had tried one of their Apple ones and I felt like that was a lot smoother and like softer. This one was kind of oily, which I didn't really like, but the smell was really good. This is Carried Away from Bath & Body Works. Uh, this one smells like, it doesn't say. I don't remember. It's florally, it's fine. Not my favorite Bath & Body Works scent. Deep Steep, I told you, I love this brand. For their lotions, maybe I just don't like their sugar scrubs. But I don't know. This is their uh, Peppermint Vanilla, which I, this is the second year that I've gotten this scent. Uh, I got it like two years ago during the holidays, and then I got it again because I love it so, so much. I have the body lotion because it came in a pack, the Sonoma Lavender. Again, smelled really funky and old. And then I have the uh, Lavender Chamomile Body Lotion. This is the aromatherapy line that you can find at Bath & Body Works. And the scent and this line is absolutely amazing. I have one sunblock and it is from Neutrogena. This is their Beach Defense line, um, SPF 70. What, what? Really, really loves Neutrogena sunblock. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> 
Speaking of favorites, this is my favorite nail polish remover. I am so, so bummed that all of the skin food uh, stores around my area are closed, which means I can't buy these anymore during Black Friday, which is such a bummer because this is an amazing nail polish remover. It smells like grapefruit. It doesn't have that like really strong alcoholy scent that just kind of takes over the entire room and invades your nostrils. So I'm really bummed. I only have one more of these and then I'm out. Ooh. This is from BB Paris and this is the color Black Velvet. I really love these because they're really tiny. I got this at Ross a really long time ago, but I think that the quality of these nail polishes are really awesome. And then I have here from Sally Hansen a Diamond Flash Top Coat. This is a really nice top coat if you're looking for a new one to try out. <laughs> I got this at Sephora in like a Black Friday set of like Tarte cosmetics. So this is a Tarte lipstick in the color Living. And it is this really beautiful mauve -y kind of color. And my aunt says it really looks nice on my lips. And I agree. I'm really bummed that I'm out. And I might have to purchase a full size one because this is fantastic. This was just a sample. And then I have two facial wipes I have here from... Ole Henriksen? Ole Henriksen? Mmm. I got this from one of those Sephora Black Friday packs as well. It was just alright, but it smelled really good. It smells all citrusy and fun. And then this is the Simple Facial Cleansing Wipes. Really enjoyed these, and I'll have to pick up another one. This is from Etude House. This is their Acne Foam Cleanser. I don't really think it did anything in terms of my acne, so that was a flop. And then I have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I really like this one. I bought like a full-size one before and then I bought like, um, again, a Black Friday little sampler of fresh products. And I, I still like it. It's really nice and it cleans your face really well. I just don't like how liquidy it is because once you squeeze it out, I feel like everything is kind of just like <laughs> swims out of there. This is the Basha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I believe this is like a charcoal maybe kind of product. I'm reading and I don't see the word charcoal, but whatever. I really like this one. I don't think I'd spend another $28 on it, but I really like this product. Bioderma. I don't know how I live my life without micellar water and I am so glad that this is a part of my face routine now because it is fantastic. I got this a while ago because like during the initial hype of micellar water um, when they didn't really have a lot of like the Garnier and the simple micellar waters out here in the US I got this one from the UK because there was like a special sale and I used it sparingly because I love it so much and it is just fantastic and it removes your makeup so so well and I highly appreciate this product. I do have the simple micellar water now so I'm good. Thayer's Witch Hazel in Rose Petal. This is an alcohol-free toner, and this is my number, number one favorite, favorite, absolute favorite. I highly suggest you buying it right now, toner. I have tried a lot of toners in my life, and I've paid so much money for them, which I find absolutely ridiculous when I could just be getting this the entire time. It feels a lot more natural. It doesn't have a lot of weird chemicals in it in comparison to other toners. I know the word chemical sounds kind of wonky nowadays because everything has chemicals and blah 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 but you know what I mean it doesn't have added but let's just this is fantastic really relatively inexpensive and it lasts me a super long time so if you're looking for a new toner try this out all right so that's it for today's video okay I'm running out of battery <laughs> I gotta go thank you all so much <laughs>